We will solve the following exercise. The exercise is in number 2.45. The magnitude of the horizontal force F1 is 5 kilonewtons and F1 plus F2 plus F3 equals 0. What are the magnitudes of F2 and F3? So, as always, first I'm going to write down what the exercise is telling me solve the exercise and second I'm going to explain what was needed for me to solve it so they are telling me that f1 is equal to 5 kilonewtons f1 plus f2 plus f3 equals 0 and it's asking for the magnitudes of f2 and f3 so this statement is telling me that the structure is um, not moving. So we are talking about so material forces equals zero. So that is what I'm going to do. The sumaterial forces along the x-axis is equal to zero. Of course, I have to write down along which side I'm going to take into consideration the positive, um, yeah, the positive sign. Or, or this positive symbol for the for the magnitudes so the components for this vector are f3 sine of 30 f3 cosine of 30 hence for the f2 Force is going to be the same thing but using its respective angle 2 sine of 45 ready so the so material forces along the x-axis equals 0 which means that I have to use f1 plus f2 cosine of 45 minus f3 cosine of 30 and this is equal to 0 regarding the y-axis so summatory of forces along the y-axis I do not remember I think that's right here positive numbers along the this direction positive which means that along this direction I'm going to use negative and this is way simpler because we just have F3 sine of 30 minus F2 sine of 45 is equal to 0 now we have two unknowns, which are F2 and F3, remember, F2 and F3, and we have two equations, this one and this one. Why I cannot use this? Because this is using the magnitudes, all right? Remember, for where we're talking about a vector, we have to take into consideration two things. First one, the magnitude, the second one, the direction all right if i use this equation for me to solve f2 i'm sorry f2 and f3 then i'm not going to take into consideration the symbol i'm just going to take into consideration the number the magnitude which means that at the end i'm going to get a wrong result all right as you can see this is pointing towards this direction so the x component has to be negative all right because of what i say i said right here all right for me the forces along these directions are positive right my professor used to say that we have to place that information right here he call it name and last name for us to be sure that uh, the positive numbers are positive because of the direction and the negative numbers are negative 
because of the same reason. Now, we have two equations, which are this one and this one, and two unknowns. So, basically, the exercise is solved. Now, uh, F2 cosine of 45 minus F3 cosine of 30 equals minus 5 kilonewtons. All right? Because F1 is equal to 5 kilonewtons. Now, I'm going to solve um, this equation. So we have A, P, and C. I think that the calculator uses that. A, B, and C, 1, A, B, and C. Yep. So we will solve it manually and check the answer using the calculator. So, right here we have this. Let me place reader this right here. All right. So, in this case, I'm going to solve this equation for F2. So, in this case, F2 equals minus 5 plus F3 cosine of 30 divided by the cosine of 45. And I'm going to replace that right here. So uh, F3 let me do it using blue Or at least red. So F3 sine of 30 minus this excuse me. Oh yeah. I'm I'm learning some French, so that is why it appears as copia and colour. Minus F, I'm sorry, multiplicated by the sine of 45. And this equals 0. Now I have to solve this equation for F3. That is not going to be easy. But we will do it as fast as we can. F3 sine 30 plus 5 divided by the cosine of 45 minus F3 cosine of 30 divided by the cosine of 45 and multiplicated by the sine, I'm sorry, multiplicated by the sine 45 each equals zero. Let me check. So I've changed the symbol because of this negative number, this ne negative symbol. So this would be plus five divided by the cosine of 45 minus F3 divided by the cosine of 45 and I have to use that distributive law for each so sine and sine and now F3 sine of 30 minus F3 cosine of 30 times sine of 45 divided by the cosine of 45 equals minus 5 sine 
45 divided by the cosine of 45. Now F3 sine of 30 minus cosine of 30 sine of 45 divided by the cosine of 45 equals plus 5 sine of 45 divided by the cosine of 45 as well which means that f3 equals here right here and right here righty Yep. Now let me check if I can do anything else. Oh, I don't think so. So F3 equals... Minus 5 sine of 45, remember, please make sure that you are using degrees, divided by the cosine, 45, divided by sine 30 minus cosine of 30 times sine 45 divided by the cosine of 45 is equal to 13.66 O2. I always use four significant digits after the comma or the point. This is in kilonewtons. Hence, since F3 is equal to this, I'm going to say this result. So, answer. Yep. Answer storage. Answer, storage, and I'm going to save it within A, for example. So for when I look for A, it's going to show this result. So F2, F2 equals minus 5 plus F3, which is equal to A cosine of 30 divided by the cosine of 45 9.6592 kilonewtons and that's it guys this is the final answer for F2 and F3 Now, oh, I think, and I'm not pretty sure about this, please bear with me, that we can solve this easier using the calculator. So we have to press mouth, equation, I want to solve an equation that uses two incognitas and the solution, so A, B, and C. And I don't have any, any other equation, so I don't have to use any power equation, so one. And we have to use 
these two equations, 1 and 2. So, in this case, we have cosine of 45. Um, minus cosine of 30 and is equal to minus 5. On the other ha hand, we have 1, 1, I'm sorry, minus 1, ah, uh, no, 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 my bad. So, we have a uh, minus sine of 45 sine of 30 and this is equal to 0 what I just did right here is to place cosine minus cosine of 30 sine and minus sine of 45 because those are the values that are next to the unknowns, right? And finally, I've placed this right here, and I think that there is a mistake right here. Why is that? Because I have to place the number that is next to F2 on the first row, which means that I have to place first these two or the numbers that are next to f2 which means that this is not right this is minus sine of 45 and this is sine of 30 all right f3 f3 f2 and f2 in this case f2 is the first row the a row and F3 is the second row, B row. Finally, the answer is minus 5 and 0. Let me check if it's helping. Yep. I think so. Yep. So, in the case of X, which was the first value, which is the first value, uh, F2 equals 9, 2, 65, 92, and Y equals 13.66. So that's it guys, this is the other way in which you can solve this exercise by just using this and this equation on the calculator. And it's, mm, this is it as I mentioned, um, this is how you can solve this exercise.